sunny 75 today what's up guys how's it going mark from 408 it's actually 30 degrees out it feels like summer again we found hill he had a little bit of a sunday fun day last night he's a little slow today he's still living the dream though still wearing the same thing who isn't me i just wear the same shorts every time and i'm rocking freaking socks and flip-flops i got my work boots in there but it's hot anyways um we got a bit of an unboxing today so we had an idea for the F-150 down there at the track. I don't want to destroy it yet, soon though. And you guys have seen tires fly off cars before. Well, today we're gonna jack it up and hold it wide open and see how far a tire will go, will fly off. And then for the next video, we have some miniature tires for the Mavericks. So we're gonna start this off with an unboxing and Hill's beautiful face. There you go, Hill. You can take it from here. All right, welcome to my kitchen. Off of the cookbook. You guys need any new recipes? You got 1400 in there? Huh. So, as you can see, everything came at once. Um, I'm gonna start with this one because I already opened it. Olight, they make flashlights. I've actually been with them for about two years now. They make some pretty incredible lights. Apparently, this one goes a thousand meters. But yeah, they make headlamps, tactical lights, anything you need. Big, small, like that's a little, little purple guy. Uh, you know, pen lights. Anyway, here's another one. It's got the little clip so you can put it on your hat. Yeah. On the beak. So check out all these, all the packages I get. I have the links below and there are discount codes. So I know they have a big sale coming up soon. Check that one out. Super ATV. Well, this is just a box of stickers they sent me. But I've been with Super ATV for a long time. They have done a lot of work on the Maverick. Basically front to back, tires, nerf bars, lights, um, radius rods, radius arms, front A arms. They make everything and anything, light bars. So check them out too. Well, this was just an Amazon buy. I uh, found a bottle at the barn, used it for the bug tar on the front of my truck. Worked amazing, like 30 seconds, all the uh, bug tar came off, so I bought that. Team LTD, they've been with me for quite a while as well. So they are launching their new fall gear, I think today, today or tomorrow. Hey Mark, we hope you guys enjoy some pieces of fall gear. Signed, the team. It's for L Dog. it's for me. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff, ton of ladies gear, as you can see. I'm not gonna open it all up because that would take me an hour. But yeah, t-shirts, shirts. Oh, the chicks will love this one. Look how fuzzy that looks. You wanna touch it? Though? No. Feel the plastic. Oh yeah. It's pretty soft plastic. Eh? Ooh. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough with clothes. Check those guys out, Team LTD. Team Live My Dream. All right, what do we got next here? Super ATV. We got a lot of stuff from Super ATV. Every few months I put my order in and I send it over. I forget what I ordered though, so I'll let you know in 30 seconds when I get something. Uh, here we got, here we, oh yeah, Team LTV. Okay, these are LED mount, oh no, this is a mirror. So obviously the Maverick has a mirror on it, but it's a little smaller. So. Super ATV sent me this big one because I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're wearing a helmet and a five point harness, it is really hard to turn around and see behind you. Highly recommend you get a mirror. Oh, what do we got? So many boxes. This is like Christmas. That's why everyone should become a YouTuber because you just show up and like, I'm going to put a Christmas tree right here. Just because every time I walk in, there's like 100 more packages. But obviously, you know, we've worked hard to work with these companies and we promote promote them. And obviously we sell a lot of products for them. That's why they just send them over for, for us. So, oh yeah, this is a new light bar. Oh, I'm not very good at stuff today. This is a shifter plate. So this is obviously the shifter in the middle. I have an aftermarket one already, but I think it was handmade. It worked really well, but I shift pretty hard and I actually bent these things over. So 
This is the new shifter plate for the Maverick X3, obviously. Some Super ATV, these guys. Head over there, check them out. Not even gonna open these, but these are Rhino axles. I have two on the back, but uh, my front ones are starting to go. The boots are all screwed, and they're just stock axles I have on there, so. Rhino axles, OGO. They sponsored me years ago when I started racing, and then uh, they uh, fired it back up again, so. Luckily, I golfed a lot now with Laura, so. They sent us over all our gear. They actually sent me a bag, and then it didn't show up. So they sent me this one, and then of course the day they sent me this one, the other one showed up. Oh, never mind, they sent me the same bag twice. <laughs> oh dear. Well, now I got two camo bags. Oh, that's hilarious. Maybe I'll do a contest with this. But yeah, if you guys need any golf bags, travel bags, moto bags, Purses for your wife, whatever. OGO is the company, and they give they gave me the largest discount code of any company has ever given me. It's twenty five percent off. So if you want to check that out below, that's it. It's pretty amazing. It's super light, and it's all made out of recycled materials. So we're getting through the pile here. What do we got next? In a real big box. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Pretty aggressive box. Oh, Super ATV hats. Rhino axle t-shirts. They're all Rhino axle t-shirts. All the merch. And whatever this is, I'm guessing of the flag. All right, we're almost done. Two more things. Well, I'm not even gonna open this. This is a light bar. I have a light bar for the front of the Maverick and the whips, but I wanted one for the back, just to, you know, for a floodlight. Ooh, something smells bad in there. Last thing from Super ATV. What do you think it is, Hill? Couldn't even guess. Couldn't even tell you? Oh, it's just the mounts for the light bar. Ta-da, shabang. Cool. Awesome. Well, that was fun. Thank you, Super ATV, for all the gear, as always. Make sure you check them out in the links below. Thank you, OGO, for the bag. If you guys need a golf bag, backpack, whatever, 25% discount. Thank you, Team LTV, as always, for the clothes. I haven't bought clothes in, like, probably seven years. <laughs> uh, I donate a lot, though, so... And thank you, Olight, for the flashlights. So check them out, get yourself a flashlight. For now, we're gonna head down the track. We got that F-150, we're gonna jack it up and we're gonna see how far that tire will go. So, let's roll. We got the kit, some gas, jack tools. We were ready to rock. I don't know if you guys saw the video of this thing jumping, but she got a little beat up. I think Nick's done with this front wheel. Oh my God. Hilarious. I uh, did a massive burnout and as you can see it peeled off and expanded. I think we should take some rims though and weld them together. Take the tires off, weld the rims together and weld some like freaking fence posts on it. Make her super traction-y. So I'm hoping the issue with this thing was it's just out of gas. Fingers crossed. So we'll fill her up, loosen off that tire. Maybe park it right here and see if we can launch it off this jump. Get your screen on there, Hill. Screen it up. Screen up. Do, 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 do. Fire it up. See if she starts. Oh, we're going now? Yeah. Got a whole 15 bucks in her. Ooh. Don't break the bank. Try not to. All right, ready? Sure. Moment of truth. <laughs> Come on, girl. Same quarter take. Or above quarter tank. You might want to rub that sunscreen in a little more on your forehead. <laughs> Alright guys. Try it again. I wonder what it could be. 
impressed with the battery. Why will this not start? I tried pressing the emergency fuel shutoff button, looked at all the fuses. Makes no sense. Well, we have tried everything. Well, everything I can think of. I switched the fuel pump relays, tried checking all the fuses. What happened was uh, Ty pushed some of the cars over here with his skid steer and it dented the tank. And I don't know if it ripped some wires out or ripped the fuel pump out of it. So I even tried jacking it up to see if the fuel would run to the front of the tank. But I have no clue. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. And uh, if not, well, I guess this thing's a scrap. She's not going to jump now. So, but I would like to jump it at some point. But uh, I guess we're not doing this video. So we're going to switch to the Maverick. So let's head up to the farm, throw those mini tires on there. And well, hopefully we can just throw them on. I know it's going to take a little bit, but let's do it. Sorry, Hal. Didn't mean to disappoint you. I am super disappointed right now. <laughs> Good. Well, new plan of attack. So we got the Maverick. I got these dinky little tires from Princess Auto. That's the size comparison. Obviously there's no holes in them, so we're gonna have to figure out how to drill them straight, especially with that edge there. But I think we can do it, eh? Well, you're, okay, we'll figure it out. you're a good mechanic, not a good board mechanic, but uh, yeah, I think it'd be hilarious. So uh, let's have at her and see what we can do. So much freaking travel on this thing. Lots of the suspension. Yeah, man. Almost there. Ten more feet. Ha! Yeah. Oh, she's shaking. You gotta tighten that bolt again, too. Yeah. Just got a little wiggle. All right. It seems to be going a lot easier than the propane tanks did, so. I just dropped two in. Hopefully that'll kind of hold hold it in place like a little jig. These are the old Super ATV one inch spacers. I have the one and a half on here now to make it 69 inches. So I'm gonna get this one drilled, that one drilled, pump them up with a lot of air and uh, hopefully they'll work. So here we go. We got one tire done, lots of meat on that side. I might have to throw some washers on it or something, but not for public road service, BTW. Hey, don't work too hard, Hill. Never. You look like my manager right now. <laughs> talking, to, talking to the rock. You gonna pay me? I'll pay. I gave you a club soda. And a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. It's a win for a Monday. Win, win, win. I never, I never know when you're filming. Anyways, so that went super well for drilling the holes. It pumped them up with a lot of air. Hopefully they don't explode. Um, I'm hoping to use the spacers that are on here, the one, one and a half inch, but if not, we'll use the spacers that we use for the propane tank wheels. So let's pull this tire off real quick, see where we end up. That should be NASCAR or F1. I would love you would it. already be fired. I know. <laughs> I would love to drive an F1 car. I think I'd, I think I'd do all right. 300 kilometers an hour. Up the hill. Up the Adam Hill. The old Hank. All right. Some people like to climb the Hank Trail. Oh, oh God. If that goes on, that's today is just going way too way too easy. Yeah, it's not gonna go on. <laughs> As you can see. Bigger holes? Oh actually, hold on. I'll pull this cap off. I forgot about the old cap. Do I need to tighten anything while this is off? I don't know why those caps are. It was getting in the way. Yeah, so as you can see. Since this sticks out, it hits the, the nut there. So we'll use the spacers that we used for the propane tanks. Fingers crossed those work, so. You're gonna run out of thread? 
Those ones are a lot longer. Are they? Yeah. Good thing I know a guy that knows a guy that does this sort of stuff. Tries to attach propane tanks to his Maverick. Yeah, like look at the length of those. Oh. <laughs> so as you can see, these, these are both from Super ATV, but this is a uh, half an inch longer. So the only thing is we push these studs out, so there's nothing to grab onto. So hopefully this goes well. But you don't know until you know, you know. <laughs> la, da, la, da. Who would have ever thought ten years ago? You know, when I was just starting YouTube, that I'd have a Maverick and be trying to attach propane tanks to it and freaking plywood wheels and now wheelbarrow tires. You never really know, Hill. That's torque, right? Nope. Nope. I just put her in first gear. Don't need to rip them off. All right. Crack. Still too much, eh? Nope, he's got a pull now. Perfect. All right, that's enough for now. Get on there. <laughs> oh, man. These two went on. The real thing is, is are they going to come off after? Did you cross thread this one on hill? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. She just doesn't want to go on. Come here, girl. Get on there. That one was the toughest one to get on. We always do. Put her in third gear, let her fly. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. I drive down the highway, buck 50 doing them with these bad boys. <laughs> you ready to burn some tires off though? <clears throat> All right, I'll do the other side, and then we'll drop her. Drop it like it's hot. You want it in neutral? Uh, yeah, throw it in neutral for now. Make sure it's in two-wheel drive, too. Yeah, you're good. All right, throw it drive. Yeah, you're high. Now give her a little gas.
hill. I'd say that was pretty successful. It worked. Oh, we burned off pretty quick. Should we uh, go find some asphalt and try and rip them right off? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's put this stuff away because apparently there's a thunderstorm warning and uh, let's roast these freaking hundred dollar tires off. You think I can drive it on with no ramps? Nope. <laughs> Much gooder, much gooder. Strap her down, burn them off, boys. <laughs> oh, we just got down here. It looks like it's supposed to rain, but we'll do this quick. Anyways, the same two people that were here last time when we did the propane tanks, uh, pretty much, pretty sure they were having some fun. We're here again. Uh, they just took off and they were laughing. Donut. Apparently everyone comes here to do donuts, so let's uh, see how this goes, see if we can uh, rip a wheel off. did not last long. Oh, wait. Under a minute. And they exploded at the exact same time. I figured I'd have a few more minutes, but uh, all right, well, we beat the rain. Let's get, uh, get back and throw the normal tires on. Let's do it. And we're back. The storm is hitting over there. Thank God. No rain. So yeah, these tires definitely did not last long. Oh, there's tubes inside of them. Wow, look at that. Stupid wheelbarrow tires. I don't think I did too much damage to my disc brake, but we'll find out. Could be worse. Just a disc. They make new ones every day. So I'm just going to change the tires on the trailer so I don't have to drive on them anymore. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Are your bats? You think this thing, these bolts are just going to spin? They'll come off. No problem. One. Two. Ready? Huh. Look at that. Well, there's 
your tire. Not much to it. 16 by 5. I don't even know how many ply it is. But she tore through pretty quick. There's a tube inside as well, so. Rim's still good. Everyone wants it. Disc brake. Just got a little couple of dings. We can file that down now. That's no problem. Smooth her right out. Alright, we'll pop that off, pop the other tire on, and uh get out of here. We got the file. You can sit in it this time. That's not gonna drop on me. Huh. You might have to drop it like it's hot. I don't know. We'll see. File away. Put her in high. Right? Yeah. Sure. Keep going. those tires I think since the winter almost so I'm glad we finally got to do them they definitely went on a lot easier than the propane tanks but uh, they did not last long so I think they were only 100 bucks but glad we got it done. it was interesting so she's all torqued up ready to go I filed down the uh, the discs there they're good nothing more than you know if a rock hit it and scratched her up Obviously, if I were to ride around, it would have warped them and screwed them, but there's just a couple small burrs. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more suggestions for what we should use as tires, let me know. I'm all ears. But uh, for now, we're going to get some more cars and see if uh, we can do some more jumps. Hopefully, we can figure that F-150 out. So, if you have any suggestions on how to get it started. Um... I tried the fuel safety shutoff switch. I tried all the, uh, the fuses. The gas tank is dented underneath from when it got moved, but I don't, I don't really know. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But for now, see you later. Bye.